So at this point, I'm going to ask uh, Chief Peoria to come up with me and uh, uh, Matt uh, to come up and uh, we'll, we'll answer your questions. Before boarding a flight in Grand Rapids, a woman says the search at the security checkpoint was violent, unnecessary, and extremely upsetting. She was one of an increasing number of passengers. Transportation Security Administration officers are searching by hand. Tonight, she shared her experience with WZZM 13's Phil Dawson. Leella Swift of Grand Rapids is a seasoned flyer, says she has passed through airport security dozens of times with no problems until she tried to board a plane in Grand Rapids while wearing a skirt. That got her some special treatment. She ran her hand like this up the inside of my leg, and but she did it so hard and so rough that she lifted me, my heels up off the ground. Passenger Ella Swift says it was her first experience with the new enhanced pat-down procedure at the airport security checkpoint in Grand Rapids. It, it was violent and unnecessary and extremely upsetting. And uh, when I got on the flight, all I wanted to do was was Swift was headed for Los Angeles earlier this month when the screeners at Gerald R. Ford International Airport explained why they needed to search her by hand. She said, well, you're wearing a skirt that they wouldn't be able to determine looking at me whether there was an explosive under my skirt. I actually lifted my skirt up and I said, I have leggings on. I can show you there's nothing on me. And she's like, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm like, okay. Swift says the female officer patted and touched and probed. There wasn't anything sexual about it. It was very rough handling. And then ran a hand up her leg to her groin. She ran her hand up so hard she lifted me up off the ground. My heels came off the ground. I think I, I yelped or whimpered. I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of... Uh... After reviewing the incident, a TSA spokesman says officers involved in the Grand Rapids search acted appropriately and respectfully. If I would have known that this could happen because I wore a skirt, I wouldn't have worn a skirt to the, uh, to the airport, that's for sure. It made me feel like, uh, do I really want to fly if I run the risk of being manhandled like this? Swift filed a complaint with the TSA in Grand Rapids and says an administrator apologized if she felt roughed up, as he put it. The TSA says people in what they call bulky clothing could be singled out for the enhanced pat-down, and some passengers will be selected for the search at random. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, November 19th, 2010, and I'm Darko. Welcome to this news bulletin. I'm going to have a lot of different news, including Big Brother and... Um, some leftover uh, economic news and little tidbits here and there. Um, I recommend new listeners to please visit my website, www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Um, I'm going to go through these articles, read the headlines, and maybe give my opinion. All the links will be posted in the description below the video. Uh, this first one up, or actually this third one up, is a GOP lawmaker full body scanners violate Fourth Amendment. A GOP lawmaker said Tuesday the full body scanners now employed by the TSA uh, violate the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution, which protects against, quote, unreasonable searches and seizures. And I'm sure the Patriot Act will uh, 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 disagree with that, uh, <laughs> with that of, you know, amendment <laughs> as far as it being uh, unreasonable. Anything's reasonable uh, in the name of terror. We've got to catch those terrorists, guys. Next one up, $11,000 fine arrest possible for some who refuse airport scans and pat-downs. Uh, this is just insane, man. I, I don't know how they're going to get away with this um, as far as these, these fines because you know, for people that want to turn away and just leave the airport. <laughs> So if, you, if you're just living in cloud nine or something, you're not aware of this, and then all of a sudden you just go to the airport, you haven't been to the airport in like 50 years, and you freak out at the line, and you want to turn around and be like, dude, I paid for the ticket, I'll take my loss, I just don't want to be manhandled and groped and treated like a goddamn slave, right? And you leave, well, you better be uh, prepared to be treated like a, like a terrorist on the run, like a, um, like a uh, what is it, a fugitive, you know, you're going to face uh, pretty stiff fines, and uh, eventually I, I just see people not really flying unless they really have to for business. 
Um, so it says, if you don't want to pass through an airport scanner that allows security agents to see an image of a naked body or undergo the alternative, an enhanced pat-down, that's what they call it now, it's groping and manhandling, a thorough manual search, you may have to find another way to travel this holiday season. The TSA is warning that anyone, uh, any, that any would-be commercial airline passenger, sorry, who enters an airport checkpoint and then refuses to undergo the method of inspection designated by TSA will not be allowed to fly and also uh, will not be allowed uh, or permitted to simply leave the airport. So that's why I don't go to the airport anymore. So, But, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. Sanford Airport to opt out of TSA screening. I just mentioned this in my last Big Brother video. Uh, is it yesterday or day before? Um, concerning, or actually, I was proposing these to these airports. I mean, I'm sure airport CEOs aren't listening to uh, global government news, but hey, maybe these guys were because I just happened to propose. Why don't you just hire your own private security? You know, these guys aren't even um, necessary, and they're not obligated by law to uh, you know protect the airports. So I don't understand why private companies can't be protected by private companies, why they have to use the government. Uh, it says the backlash uh, continues over the new TSA screening measures, and now one central Florida airport has decided to go to a private security screening firm. Orlando Sanford International Airport has decided to opt out of uh, TSA screening. It says all of our due diligence shows it's the way to go, said Larry Dale, director of Sanford Airport Authority. You're going to get, uh, you're going to get better service at a better price and more accountability and better customer service. And he's right, because it's competition, right? The TSA and the government has a monopoly on security. So no matter how inefficient they are, uh, they're going to uh, they're going to stay in business, and in the way the government works, as far as a monopoly, in comparison with private companies, is that the more failures there are with the government and their departments and agencies, the more funding they get, the more money they steal from you to try to uh, throw at to throw at these agencies to fix these quote problems or these uh, uh, loopholes or inefficiencies, right? So they get paid, they profit off of uh, not being efficient. And that's just not right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Any free market capitalist would probably agree with me on that. But uh, so we're going to move on. Got plenty of news. Making ads that whisper to the brain. I mentioned this in the last video, but I didn't get a chance to uh, say anything about it. Uh, but basically it says... Uh, what happens in our brains when we watch compelling TV commercials? For one thing, certain brain waves that correlate with heightened attention become more active, according to researchers who have used EEGs, or I'm not even going to try to pronounce that right now, to study the brain's electrical frequencies. Brain waves that signal less focused attention, meanwhile, tend to subside. In other words, this is your brain on ads, like this is your brain on drugs, I guess is what they're getting at, the little 80s uh, uh, propaganda, uh, demonizing pot mostly or so say neuromarketers, a uh, nascent group of researchers who use techniques from neuroscience to analyze people's responses to products and promotions. This story right here is pretty interesting. You have to check this out. Like I said, the link will be below. Uh, Web-based amateur private eyes enhancing store security. This is a breakthrough in, uh, in, in, I guess you can call it private security, but it's really just kind of public-private, nice little fascist uh, uh, public-private partnership, right? That's what they call it. I call it fascism or corporatism, but a new business attempting to help small retailers minimize shoplifting by harnessing the power of the internet with existing security camera technology is showing some initial results as it works to improve stability and reliability. Internet Eyes is meant to help small stores that have CCT uh, TV cameras installed, but that lack the manpower to monitor the video feeds constantly, the idea is simple. For a dollar ninety-nine or one uh, nine, one pound and ninety-nine cents, I don't know what that what the change is over there. But uh, monthly, it says that uh, anyone within the EU can sign up to watch closed circuit video feeds from randomly selected shops in the UK from their homes. So. Hopefully um, you get that. I, it's not that complicated, but I was having a trouble. I was having a problem reading through that. It's basically basically private individuals, citizens are going to be able to 
uh, observe these CCT cameras and basically rat people out. I mean, I'm not saying like, you know, it's good to catch criminals or basically people that are stealing, you know, property, right? I mean, I'm all for property rights and, you know, I'm not for theft. Um, but like I said, you know, I, <laughs> to me, the way I see this is, is it promotes, um, voyeurism it promotes big brother it promotes spying on your neighbor so that's why i'm not for it web censorship ba bill sales through senate committee says uh who's, who says congress never gets anything done on thursday the senate judiciary committee unanimously approved a bill that would give attorney general the right to shut down websites with a court order if copyright infringement is deemed a central to the activity on the site, regardless if the website has actually committed a crime, the Combating Online Infringement and Counterfeits Act, or uh, COICA, is among the most draconian laws ever considered to combat digital privacy and contains what some have called a nuclear option, which would essentially allow the Attorney General to turn suspected websites off. So this has to do with people like me or anyone out there that's talking about the truth or... Uh, one small government or, you know, doesn't really care too much for the Federal Reserve, uh, wants their privacy, wants their property rights, just wants to be left alone by the government and uh, by big corporations taking advantage of them. And so uh, any website that uh, includes information or content relating to that, you know, is at the hands of the Attorney General. So it's not good. Not good at all. Report Obama administration to appoint web privacy czar. The U.S. government is preparing to appoint a privacy czar and introduce legislation to address growing concerns over Internet privacy. The announcement is expected to come within weeks along with a report from the U.S. Commerce Department, though at this point the details are apparently far from being hammered out. Please check this out. I'm running out of time. End of free Internet. U.S. Senate committee approves Internet blacklist bill, and that's the uh, COICA we were just talking about. Debt collectors using Facebook to stalk and humiliate New York City police photograph irises of suspects. The New York Police Department has begun photographing the irises of people who are arrested in an effort to prevent escapes as suspects move through the court system, as police officials said Monday. This one's from naturalnews.com, a real good website. I recommend you guys uh, put, add this to your favorites. Uh, Mike Adams uh, is a very... Uh, good person. <laughs> I don't know other way to put it. He's a great individual and um, I'm not religious, but God bless you. The poll, 96% of travelers changing plans due to new airport scanning pat-down procedure. U.S. airports just got a whole lot more invasive with recent announcements by the TSA that the new enhanced pat-down procedures will become the norm for travelers who opt out of complying with full body naked imaging scans. But a recent uh, Reuters poll shows that as of this writing, an astounding 96% of travelers plan to make an alternative travel plan to avoid this gross invasion of privacy. So good for them. Airport x-ray scanner is just as likely to kill you as a terrorist bomb. This is an interesting story. Blackout, brief power outage, halts Cowboys-Giants game. To me, I think that was done on purpose uh, because uh, when you go in there and read, what happened as soon as the lights went out, um, people started cutting, you know, basically going after each other. Yeah, it says, according to Ralph uh, Vacciano of the New York Daily News, uh, there were fights in the stands during the outage. So, like I said, I think that was just a little test to see how people would react when the lights go out. If you ask me, I think these things are FEMA camps. Along with the military bases, that is, that is a fact. Military bases are um, de facto um, FEMA camps. So, but I also think that these are too. These are new murals in Bank of America. Please check them out. A lot of Masonic stuff going on, but also it tells us about our future, about the uh, basically the collapse and the, and the FEMA camps and then the slave labor. And Prince William marries outside the bloodline. Thank you.